Is it recording? <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> Keep on going. <laughs> okay. Okay, hold on. Do the three, two, one again. <laughs> She said one glass too many. Hi, I'm Courtney. This is my mom, Connie. Yes, and this is my daughter, Courtney. And we are having a good time and haven't seen each other since uh, Ricky's birthday, which that's her husband. So we're just going to take some time, ask each other some questions, get to know each other a little better, and hopefully <laughs> know each other. <laughs> Well, I some questions that the kids yeah. may want to right. know when they sure. get older. Mom's in the hot seat. Ooh. Okay, let's start with you. So where are you from? I am from, uh, actually I was born in Anadarko, Oklahoma. And my mother was 45 years old when she had me. I was the last of 10. The baby. The baby. <laughs> As they say, the baby. <laughs> five girls and five boys. And I was the only one out of 10 children that was born in the hospital. And she said she could have saved her $75 and had me at home with a midwife <laughs> like the rest of them. $75. That's, that's right. right. Can I you wish imagine? it only cost $75 so, to have a kid at this point. I was 17 when I graduated. My mother was 62. And at that point, I thought she was really old. But now, I'm 62 <laughs> and that's not old. <laughs> It's not old. So, it's not, not old. old at all. Kids, it's not old. So, how did you meet my dad? Well, that's kind of a long story. Uh, one of my classmates uh, was a real good friend of his girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this story sounds familiar. <laughs> And um, anyway, they were having problems, my understanding. <laughs> and so, yeah, I thought, well, he was just really cute. And so I just kind of wanted to get to know him. And back in our day, we just, our dates was like right around, go to Max's drive around drive Sonic? In. Oh, okay. Yeah, go have a Max's charburger. And that's when my hair was way long. And I would wear curlers in my hair because that's how I dried my hair. So he didn't mind. I, I would drive around with him. We Big hygienic curlers, but I guess it didn't bother him, you know. Clearly, so it didn't. clearly, he anyway, liked the curlers. Anyway, he liked the so curlers. We went together for a year and a half before we married. So, why'd you get married? Well, why does anybody get married? Because <laughs> we loved each other, I guess. <laughs> well, I hope. I mean, I, I'm, I'm assuming that was the reason, you know. I, I felt like it was, but yeah. it was a rough start, but. You know, and it seemed like we fussed. We were both, as you would say, <clears throat> babies of the family. He was the baby of his family, I would, and he liked it his way, but I liked it mine. You know, so we were married the first five years before we built our first home. Well, our home that you know of, yeah, that you became a Grew part of. It. Yes, and became a part of. But his parents were fabulous. They were really great people. They were good to me. They were ex exceptionally good to me because he always expected me to do all his dirty work. Go to mom. They'll do whatever you want to do. You know, they'll do whatever you want because, you know, we were always spending our weekends um, at the racetrack. That's how our weekends went. You know, did you like his, cars or did he like he, cars? He liked race cars and I was just, yeah, I like race cars too, but we always spent it going here, going to Tulsa. I, I couldn't even expense to tell you. I was eight months pregnant with you in November. That's uh, the last race we went to and we didn't get home and I had to be at work at seven o'clock in the morning. Now, mind you, seven o'clock I worked at Pet for 22 years. But anyway, I never missed a day of work. Back to my original, um, I was eight months, uh, well, almost ready to deliver, but um, we went to the racetrack and I had to be at work. This was on a Sunday night. I had to be at work at Monday at seven o'clock in the morning every, and we didn't get home till three o'clock in the morning, you know. <laughs> so I was pretty tired, you know, because I worked up eight days before I delivered her. You know, she was born on the 28th of November, and I worked up until Thanksgiving. You know, there was hardly no time. There was, I mean, it was like, 
you know, I gotta get a shower, I gotta get my makeup on. My sister was there. Monty says, oh my gosh, we're two minutes apart. I said, I don't care. I gotta have a shower. I gotta have my, I'm not going anywhere until we do. I gotta get my face on. I gotta get my face on. Nobody's gonna see me at the hospital. And so we're going to, we're going up in the driveway walking in the emergency room. I'm going, oh my gosh, I don't know if I can make it. We're going up the elevator and the interns are saying, oh my gosh, you're a 10. That's when we deliver. I said, I don't care. You better hurry up. There's no time for anything else but get me to the delivery room. And there was barely just enough time and you were delivered. How old were you I guys was, when you guys got married? I was... Um, we were under 21 years old, so we had to be signed for. I was 19 and he was uh, 20. So I was actually 18 because we got married on the 21st of September and I turned 19 on the 6th. So, you know. Wow. He and so Mima had to sign for Monty. I don't think she was too happy about that. So, how old were you when you had Courtney? I was 27. What was that, 28 when I had court? I was 27. Yeah, I, was I was 27 in uh, the 6th of September and she was born uh, in November. So, yeah. I was 27. Crazy. Uh, prior to that, we had been separated and uh, probably probably going through a divorce when we got back together. I didn't and that was that. what they call the seven year itch in our time. <laughs> You know? Things that I don't know about my parents. So there's a lot of things that Courtney didn't know that I, you know. That was my next question. Why did you get divorced? Well, no, I said we were headed that way. I didn't know that. But, yeah. When I was born? Thing. No, before you were born. Well, he had an affair, uh, you know, with a Southwestern Bell employee. And, and, you know, do we need to go any further? No. The kids don't need to know that, but... You know, I had to fight and go down to Lawton and go to her door, and he was stayed the you night. Use your hands. Oh, <laughs> found this girl's address by golly, and I said your clothes will be out on the yard. Mom you know, does not play. I, I, you know, I was pissed. <laughs> I was totally hurt. You know. I would have been pissed too. Oh. I would punch Ricky right oh. in his face. You know, but anyway, that's another story. <laughs> Just so you, know. you know, so, you know, <laughs> then I tried my stuff to try to get back to him, but that didn't work. But we got back together, and that's when you, and he was like, good as gold, you know. But by then, I was just kind of, you know, I'd lost my trust, and you know how that works, you know. You lose your trust, and you just never. Never recovered. I had him up on this pedestal for the whole, you know, whole in duration, and then you know, you know, he broke my heart, and you know, it was hard for me to. Once you break my trust, it's like I don't trust you, you know. Okay, so how did you feel when you found out you were pregnant with me? Well, we were really so excited. <laughs> we really was. I was nervous, you know. So, uh, but other than that, we were pretty excited, but, uh, you know, uh, we didn't know how everything was going to go. So, question, because I feel like I remember, because you didn't name me, your friend named me. So, uh, and I was thinking, trying to think all these boys' names, you know, and when they said it was going to be a girl, I'm thinking, oh my gosh, <laughs> I don't have any names. <laughs> so, who I named me? Uh, was the lady that I worked with. <laughs> And there was, was a lady I friend? worked with, yeah, okay. for 22 years. Okay. And so um, she she said, well, why don't you name her Courtney? That's a good name. And I said, oh, I kind of like that. I said, but I don't have a middle name. And I said, what about Chanel number no. five? You know that perfume? They always say Chanel number no. five. And they say, oh, that sounds good, Courtney Chanel. And so that's how you know. So that. how did you spell it so much more complicated than well, the Chanel number no. five perfume? You were like, hey, go to kindergarten, try to spell your male name. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> like what? I don't know, that's just how they, I think that's how Chanel is. No, it's oh, not. not. You well, double up the N and the E well, and the L. I guess I wanted to make it different. <laughs> And then I didn't think about when you said grade school. <laughs> oh, all this long name how it was gonna be. But you, I knew you was gonna be smart, so I didn't have to worry about it. <laughs> I think 
you turned out to be a perfect child. So I never had to even. You heard it. Perfect. I didn't even have to. You never had. She never had one spanking in her life. Never. I did. I remember one spanking. Who gave it to you? You did. I did. Yes. Well, it's because your dad made me. It's probably because you couldn't tell that time. No. I remember it was when y'all got divorced, and I was like. Well, that was afterwards. Well, I still count the yeah, spanking. I still count. Count. <laughs> when was that? I think I was like in second grade. I remember I laughed at you, which was a bad idea. Don't ever do that. <laughs> it's wrong. It's an asshole. <laughs> okay. What's your favorite thing about me? Now or all oh, there'll be years? I don't know, ever. What's no, your favorite? My favorite thing is how you've turned out, how proud I am of you, how pretty you have turned out to be, and how successful. Um, you're very, you know, you, you're very organized like me. <laughs> Not organized, but I mean, you know, you've got to get things done. Things are important. Uh, you know, it's not, the, you're not a last minute person. You know. I prepare. It's, you prepare, you got to get things, when something has to be done, you get it done, you know, a week before. Yeah. If I had never been born, what would your life, what do you think your life would look like? You know, I've often think, thought about that. Really? Yeah, I have. If you hadn't been born, I would have thought, oh my gosh, would I, I mean, I probably wouldn't have been with your dad. I don't know what I'd been. I don't know where I'd been, you know, or would have been. Maybe you would have traveled. Been. Maybe you would have moved out of Oklahoma. Probably, maybe. You know, I don't know. I, I've often thought about that. But, but I do say this. I am very proud, very thankful I have you because you're my only child. I'm, I'm sad because I didn't have more than one, but you know, some things are just way God plans, you know, and our way things work out, you know. Um, but I will say this, I was the best choice of your dad's. <laughs> there you are. <laughs> so what would you change about our relationship? If you would change anything. Um, I think we should have been closer when you were in school. You know, I think that really had a big impact on you as well as me. You know, when you left and went to your dad's, you know, it broke my heart. And Rick said, I can't believe you did that, you know. And I said, well, I thought, I didn't think she'd leave. I was trying to use reverse psychology. You know, is that what they used to say? You know, I was really trying to think I would, you know, that would work. And, and it really upset me because you knew how I felt. But <clears throat> it didn't. And you left for three years and, and I, you know, I was miserable, you know. And then we went on our vacation. I was still miserable and I just, you know, I, I just had a hard time dealing with it, you know. And he knew it, but, you know, he said it was your fault because you should have never... You know, I, it wasn't my place to step in, and you know, and it wasn't, you know, but that's, you know. Okay, I have a question for you. Okay. Did you ever, when, when you left me, when you left our household, <clears throat> did you ever miss me uh, when you went to live with your dad? Of course I did. You're my mom. Of course mom. you didn't? Of course I did. Oh, I was just, <laughs> oh gee. <laughs> you're, my, you're my mom. I'm an only child. You're the only person I've ever known. You're my mom. I love you. Of course I miss so you. So how was it when you when you left me? I mean, you know, because your dad was not... He wasn't the same as me. I no. mean, it's like I did everything. He was, he was dad, and he was a little more open. Oh, yeah. He was a little more lenient. I, I wasn't a partier. I wasn't crazy. We just disagree, and that's... I feel oh. like... I have a lot of the same traits that you have. So when I am set in my way, just like you're set in your way, that I wasn't changing my mind. And you gave me an ultimatum and I made a decision. I'm not saying it's the best decision, but when given the ultimatum, I made the decision I felt was right. Okay. Um, you know, I didn't agree. You and I didn't agree. We didn't see eye to eye. Sure. Um, and I didn't know how to work that out. I was 17 years old. I, I was probably stupid. I mean, I was smart, but I'm a child. Like I didn't know 
the best thing for me, but I also did know that, you know, what I thought was right, and I tried to follow my heart. But did you ever want to come back home? Yeah. I, but don't get me wrong. But you didn't I feel that. like at the same time that maybe God opened an opportunity for me to spend more time with dad. I he know. wasn't. I felt like that. He wasn't going to, I didn't know it at the time, but he wasn't going to be here for much longer. So. Yeah. Sorry. I got to spend more time with him and get to know him better. and get to spend time and, you know, enjoy his company. When you did move to your dad's, um, and I come out there and talk to you one time, you remember that, <clears throat> and I asked you to come back because I missed you and I wanted you to come back because I felt like, I felt like you needed us. So why didn't you come home? Well, I think that kind of, Playing to the same thing I kind of said before was that we didn't agree on the reason why I had to exit the home. Um, you know, um, it was over something that I felt was right, you felt was wrong for completely different reasons. And <clears throat> I felt very passionate about I feel like you didn't raise me to be that way and so I just didn't understand what the problem was and I didn't know how to change the way I felt. I cared for a certain person and I didn't know how to help how to get you to understand that and I may have been young yes but that doesn't change the way that I felt and I may have not expressed that in the best manner but I, I wasn't, I wasn't a, a partier. I wasn't, I mean, I went to school. I, I did my work. I was a straight A student. I played all types of sports. I had a job. Like I felt like I was kind of an ideal student, an ideal daughter, if you will. And I didn't know how to make you make, feel like I was doing the right thing if that mm -hmm. makes sense. And I know we didn't agree on on the reason why I made the, the decision to move in with dad. And um, I didn't know how to fix that. I was 17 so and I didn't, didn't know. That's no. why you didn't want to come back. Right, and, and I felt you, like- You knew if you come back, <clears throat> that would be cut off. Right, I didn't agree with that. <clears throat> I That's didn't agree. why you didn't come back. Right, I didn't agree. We didn't agree. <clears throat> I didn't know how to rectify the situation. So I just, you know, made the decision to stay where I was. Even though I know that it was hard on you, it was hard on me, I needed my mom. I was in high school and that's what other time don't you need your parents and your mom, especially as a, as a, a woman growing up and trying to grow from a child into a woman. Um, but I felt like I had a belief and I, I stood behind it and we didn't agree and that's okay it's okay to not agree mm -hmm. but we had to find a, um, a happy medium mm -hmm. and i wasn't sure that i could do that yeah <laughs> cheers there you go <laughs> cheers <laughs> all right next question that's mine oh you again you just mm -hmm. had one i know okay go. who's your favorite parent <laughs> She I wrote that one. <laughs> I don't have a favorite parent. I love that was that I, was, I was like what? <laughs> I love you and dad the same for very different reasons. I can't say I love one parent over the other. I know. I'm messing with you. I know. Um So you, tell me why you love each one. What what reasons do you love each one? So, I mean, obviously they're both very supportive of me. Um very it's, loving. Um, they care for me, they've always supported me, um, whether it be sports, academics, um, they've always been there for me to pick me up when I was down. Um, I think both of them have done that. Um, in different ways. In different ways. Um, obviously dad's a little more sports oriented, mom's just there a, a little bit more emotionally. Um, so I just feel like 
you know, anytime I've needed any of either one of them, they've always been there for me. I just know that I've always had support supportive parents and it's really helped me become who I am um, and really been a positive influence on me just not just in school and in sports, but really helping me grow as a person and um, become a successful business person. And um, I really appreciate it. And that's why, Ricky, yeah. for your information, that's why she's got to be in control. <laughs> because she gets after me. <laughs> Not in control, she, That's why Corey, bless his heart, he's always got to. Well, I'm Bree. This is the way it's got to be. I think he gets a little bit of that after mom and grandmother. <laughs> what was your first thought when I told you I was getting married? Oh, I was, um, I wasn't too excited, you know, because I'm thinking, oh my gosh, you know, I, I hope this is a good guy, you know, because I knew you'd made your choice, you know, and I'm thinking that's what I was worried about. But Ricky has turned out to be a good man and a good choice, so, uh, but that's honest truth, you know. So I'm excited, you know, I'm, I'm glad that you have Ricky, you know. Okay, so, oh, I got another one. How did you feel about becoming a grandma? Oh, that's another story. It was like, I'm what? I'm not grandma. Nanny's grandma. <laughs> That's what I thought. Honestly, and I'm thinking, so I'm thinking, oh my gosh, you know, Tariq goes, I can't be grandma. I'm not old enough. <laughs> That's what I thought. <sighs> no. <laughs> you know. But yet, here you are. But yeah, Nanny's but you when all. court came along, I was pretty excited, you know. Because he, he was special. He was. What's your favorite thing about Corrick and Aubrey? Well, they're two great kids. They're both two good looking kids. You know, I mean, everybody that I've showed pictures, oh my gosh, those are good looking kids. I said, I know it. They got good genes. <laughs> you know, no. Uh, but I, I feel like they're, I think Corrick is really smart. He's had some issues and he's working, uh, y'all are working through some issues, but. He's, they're both really good kids. They just, you know, uh, you know, they just uh, need some good discipline, you know, but other than that, um, I'm real proud of them. Real proud of them. When I get old, would you let me live with you and, or put me in a home? <laughs> of course I would let you live with me. We have your room upstairs. <laughs> Prep. We have a cute little comforter. Uh -huh. It'll be exactly where I you live. It. Yeah, it's it's like a fuchsia. It's really cute. It <laughs> matches our wine. <laughs> it's a <Good> job. <laughs> okay. So, what advice would you give to Cork and Aubrey if you had to sit down and give them advice about life in general? And life in general. If you have a family and you have children, be sure to always do family things from day one because when your children are born from up to a year old that's when they learn the most and i mean seriously statistic uh what is the word statistic yeah <laughs> that's the word i'm looking for they do uh, learn the most at that point and um they need to teach them to be <clears throat> gentlemen and ladies and always uh strive to be their best and um you know just uh, live a good life and be good and loving to all people that's what i would say Oops. have you ever been arrested no what do i look like i don't know no you know some things are not really revealed have you ever been arrested no i have not don't lie no, I haven't. You probably done some crazy things. I have done some crazy things. But I want to know these crazy no, things. No, I don't share. Some things I don't share. <laughs> Boo. Yeah. I'm sure there's a few that you don't share That's either. That's fair. Yeah. That's right. How did you feel when I moved to Kansas City? Well, I, I, I've been, you know, I, I've been kind of lost <laughs> because, you know, I can't just up and go to the city and, and spend the weekend. 
you know, with uh, Cork and Aubrey and and the me. Mew. Well, I mean, you because, and then because yeah, he's always usually walking, uh, working on the computer or working on pictures, and and you know that was our time together, you know, and um, and I remember the first thing out of Rick's mouth was, "You can't go up every month." <laughs> That was that was what he said to me, and I said I know that. You know, I got I, as lost as we got this time. <laughs> they only got lost three times. We well, didn't even get again. lost the first go round. But <clears throat> then anyway, I was. Uh, it's like oh my gosh, you know. I, I you know I just have missed you. I you missed know. you. But we get to go to the winery tomorrow. Oh yes. And yes. we're gonna enjoy favorite winery. Yes. That is, Cheers. I believe that's, I believe that's my favorite winery because I can't drink white wine. Cheers. That's right. That's all yes. we have for today. Yes. Are you having anything else? No, Maybe. unless you have a margarita for me, Ricky. We'll get to that later. That'll oh, be next okay. video. Yeah. Okay. Next video. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. I love you too, bud. She used to give me kisses on the lips. She was <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I need more wine. <laughs>